Hello, everybody, and welcome to Turning with Terry on Monday. Occasionally. Okay, so today we're turning a hard piece of wood today. I'll bring in my fellow compatriots so I can find them on the screen. There they are. We have Brian of Hartward turning, celebrating Christmas already. He's only got another. I don't know, 26 days to go, something like that, 24 days to go. And we got Mark, the general word turner. The normal one for a change. <laughs> this is what i got to put up with, that. This is what i got to put up with. Okay. So <laughs> that will be entertaining you today. Keep an eye on the chat. Well, I should be doing some turning. This is what we're turning today. <laughs> this is a piece of olive ash which was an attachment. If anybody saw the video from uh, Steve S.K. Carson when we were at Yorkshire Grit HQ last week, week before. Um, this is an off, this is, an off this is just an off cut of that bowl. It's 10 inches by five and a quarter. It was a bit bigger than that. It took me about an hour and a quarter to uh, just trim it and get it around. It's really, really hard. So we'll see how it goes today. So this is what I'll be turning into a bowl, and I may or may not colour it, depending on how difficult it is to turn. So, without further ado, I'll start going, and I'll let you, all my earworms, take over. And this... Oh, it's a, it's a bad policy to let us take over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though this is round, it's still Thanks. really off. It's weighted somewhere, because I can only get about 900 revs out of it. After that, the machine starts to walk around the room. So I'll put the right glasses on. There you go. Yeah, better, better with the correct glasses. You, know, you might be able to see what, see what I'm doing. doing then. Just for a change, yeah. Just for Hello, a change. welcome along, everybody. Ryan's going to read the list out this time. Well, okay. Not, 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 uh, I'll see if I can find a list. Let's see who's on the participants list today. Oh, there's not very many participants list. Now, let's see who there is. Mr. Brent Beecroft is in. Clive Roger, uh, Rogerson is in. David G. Heath, the Guilford Carpenter, is along and watching. Uh, Doug Miller, at Woods One Ryan. Good evening, good afternoon, Doug. Uh, Mark Pritchard, Michael McEwen. Uh, our good friend Peter Cochran's in, as is Terry Bartlett. Hi, Terry. You're right, it's an acquired case. Terry will know what I mean. Um, Trevor P., the hobby woodcomer's in. Woodcoming by Barry. And Woodworm Paul is all that's on the participants list currently. But we have 27 watching, so let's have a look, see who else is in. Welcome along, everybody. Who does a miss, Mark? Door 60 is in. Woodworm Paul, did you him? Yep, I think I did, yep. Uh, Woodcoming by Barry. I said Woodcoming by Barry, didn't I? Yes, I did. So we've currently got 30 watching today. Ah, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you enjoy it today. For a Monday lunchtime. Hi, Joe. Hello, Joe. Joe couldn't make it to today's near branch. Got a prior appointment. Yep, she has an appointment. Taking singing lesson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't repeat what you said earlier about Joe singing, but. Greg yeah. like Alexander Alexander's right. joined us. Hi, right, Greg. Hi, Greg. <laughs> you can probably hear how tough this stuff is. Yeah, it sounds a bit hard. It's really yeah, we hard. That, we know from the big ball how, how hard it is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of tough got, when I was trying to reshape the tenor on the bike a little bit. It's got several cracks in it as well. I'm just trying to hog out some wood at the moment. Actually, I'm going to put my <laughs> oh, curtain up here because my bench will get full of... Joe, you're, Joe, you're so colourful. I haven't been saying anything. It's in. Ooh, it's it, wasn't, it wasn't in about the singing lessons that she needed or anything. No. Oh, oh, I I Hi, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Good afternoon, Wayne. Hope everybody enjoyed the... I uh, just want to see Wayne's name now. Everybody enjoyed the uh, crafty festival yesterday. Yeah, I watched Wayne, but I couldn't go in and chat. I was too busy, so... 
unfortunately I was out most of the day yesterday so I didn't see a lot of it. Or even Saturday. Or even Saturday, yeah. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun, eh? Who, who would believe it's only four weeks to Christmas? Uh, until you start. <laughs> as long as you don't realise everybody, Brian's putting his decorations up at the moment. Oh, not me. Well, I was helping earlier assemble the Christmas tree, and Michelle is currently putting the bubbles on. This is hard. Right. And I had the party here this morning, and normally book them to come back every sort of six, six, six or seven weeks. And we booked them, and the next date is the 10th of January 2022. Oh my god, that's only seven weeks away. Seven weeks. Yep. You love it, don't you? Mark does too, really. He just says he doesn't. Uh, I don't know if oh. you guys uh, would be of the same opinion it. as me, but this year has just kind of vanished. It certainly has. It's disappeared yes. completely. I think this chisel is getting blunt already. Well, as we were turning that big thing on the BB, mm. it was sharpening every two or three minutes, you remember. Jennifer's in. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, there she is. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Love the mugs, Jennifer, by the way. Uh, your logo is a nice colourful design. I might have to think about doing a new logo myself. Jennifer, otherwise known as Bailey's. Bailey's. Bailey's is in. Jennifer, the Bailey's uh, strong. <laughs> yes, you like a little bit of Bailey's. I'm just to change this gauge a sec. No, no, get it right, Terry. She doesn't like a little bit of Bailey's. Oh, right. She, right. Like, she likes rather a lot of Bailey's. She likes right. her. <laughs> she enjoys a, a, a tittle. Yeah. She's quite right. She's not any worse than any of the rest of us, but. No, that's true. She stood her ground with the rest of us. Ben Jamming's in. Hi, Ben. I know. No, ben. Come by your bed, Ben. Ben. Ivy Woodshed, Dave Ivy. Oh, Michael McEwen is just correcting me, so it's five weeks of Christmas. But I don't count this week. Ben, before you ask, yes, it's a piece of walnut. <laughs> it's a rather large piece of lightly coloured walnut. Peter Cochran says he makes his own bailies. Uh, maybe you should <laughs> get in touch with Jennifer. She'll probably have a that full. <laughs> Whoops. I like Jennifer's last comment. It's what a good job it? you boys didn't know me ten years ago. Oh. Whoops. Did she used to drink then? What was happening 10 years ago, Jennifer? She was probably capable of drinking us all under the table. What she didn't do bad the weekend. I Neither remember right, eh? Neither did the rest of us, Terry. Well, you yeah, were just an animal. We don't, have, we don't, I, I don't really. Terry, but I seem to remember Brian being rather um, inebriated Friday night. Yes. Rather seems, under the seems, weather all day Saturday. I seem to remember being a bit hungover on Saturday. Yeah. So conflicted. It was oh, absolutely no. I didn't. I didn't want sympathy because um, it's self-inflicted. Mark Pritchard says he's not had a drink three years now. Good morning, Mark. Excellent. It's a lovely cut coming off there, then Terry. Thank you. Is that, is that a sharp gouge? 
So yeah, I'll change the game, but this one's getting blunt as well now. It's, they don't last long. Nope. I will have to resharpen in a minute. Yeah. Just beats the edge off it. Can we see a lot of John Wavy Woodshed? Wavy Woodshed. Andrew. Andrew, isn't it? Steve, we're going to cross this in. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve's caving again. Having his, having his lunch. Terry Bartlett says, don't tell Jennifer, but Tesco's is selling one litre bottles of Baileys for 10 quid. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Jennifer. See you later. Yeah. See you later, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you down at Tesco's? <laughs> why are you down at Tesco's? These are bad. Cold where you are this morning, Steve. Steve's working outside today. It was certainly cold this morning when I started. Frosty here. Whole place is white this morning. Steve, probably half a day by the time you started, Brian, wasn't it? No, I started at uh, quarter to nine this morning. I mean. Right. But when Paul says he's got the booze for seven days, he's on antibiotics. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Let's use them now. Take the antibiotics now before it's Christmas. Cause... Yeah, indeed. A little bit of abstinence do you no harm. Oh, you'll be fine. That's a bit. Oh, this is getting I, blunt. I won't be drinking any more until Christmas. Then luck out, eh? Clint at Wood Dancers is in. Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. Good evening. Oh, very, very cool, Steve is. Two jackets, gloves, and a hat. There you go. Yeah, I've got my thermals on today, Steve. Norman Hi, Norman. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Wayne says he hasn't had a drink for 12 years. Sorry, hours. <laughs> well done, Wayne. I'm not so sure. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, See what cracks we got here then. A few. Must have went to bed early last night, Wayne. <laughs> bed early. Don't worry it's me. So, it's got a buzz one. It's a pretty piece of wood. Mm, not bad, it is. is it? It's got. It's full of cracks, mine. So I might have to well, the big, snoop the big one had a few, uh, a few hundred. Cakes, it? Yeah, I think Glenn said he used about twenty tubes and twenty bowls. I'm going to put some super glue in this now. This stuff. Good idea. If I can uh, help seal it a bit, because when I get the inside out, it's going to fall to bits. <laughs> Of course, one thing you could have done there, Terry. Yeah. You could have uh, put sanding sealer on it first. I could have done, but I'm turning it away anyway. I'm going to do another cut yet. Then where you apply the sanding sealer, uh, where you apply the super glue over the sanding sealer, it reduces Just the staining. Yeah, true. Mark Stratton's in. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Jennifer can't make you coffee. She's no, just she, off down the test. She's just off the test. <laughs> Apparently got her the offer double. on there for Bailey's. <laughs> Off to Tesco's at the double. <laughs> Shame. Why don't you gonna stick your finger to that, Terry? Yeah, I've known somebody else who did that. Remember that, Brian? Oh, I've done it many a time. <laughs> and, and any wood dummer who tells me they've never stuck their finger to the ball. It's easy to do. You, you just go yeah. like that and dunk. You stuck to it. Right. While that's drying, I'm just gonna. Sharpen this guy. Sure. Sharpen their tools. Have you got the a camera one, over by the sharpening station? No, I don't have, unfortunately. I'm no. not that I'm not rich like you. For goodness no. sake, unprepared, uncouth, alien oh, that you yeah. are. Yeah. So we'll just... Uh, you can hear it, though. Yeah, probably. We'll just sit here and watch glue dry. That's yeah, the answer. Exactly. I could have painted it, couldn't I? You could have watched paint dry. Could still oh, watch it. Yeah. We're not done yet. I'll just turn the speed up a bit. Well, uh, who in the chat's got something exciting planned for this week? Anybody? Any I'm nice projects? I'm going to be making lots of things for a craft fair I'm doing. <gasps> Build up some stock. Lots of little things, or are you going to try and do some? 
Uh, there's going to be Christmas trees, snowmen, the size that you can hang on a Christmas tree. You're all right. Yeah. And a few conks and a few more goblets, just to bulk out the Excellent. table a bit. Excellent. You've already got a stock of bowls. You must have a stock of bowls and buzzes already, so. Yeah, yeah. This is it's all cool. the under, under 20 pound stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, the wood down for she's got to leave off this week. Oh. Poor Mark has to work. Not shot in that is. Gotta pay for those baileys somehow. Yeah, indeed. Right. That'll be that. Steve, Steve's away back to work. Well, see, see you later, mate. He, he, he's as quick as usual. It's a cracking looking bowl, he says. It's a cracking looking bowl. Mr. Steve, this is a part of uh, Glyn's off cut. Take it easy, Steve. Have a good yeah, day, mate. See if I can get the speed up a bit now. So I have to go out this afternoon oh. and try and cut a big lump off of you. A bit of 1200, that's all we got. Ooh. Or alum. Oops, that's wobbling a bit. Yeah, 1200 it'll do. Just clean it up a bit. Peter Cochran's hoping to test his headphones sometime this week. That's fine. Uh, I was going to give him that, we'll, give, me a, give me a shout, Peter. We'll sort something out. Get it tested for you. We do a little on live session on Thursday or something. You can hear one. Which one, Paul? Just is... sorry. Uh, go ahead, Matt. Go ahead. Prepare. Terry Bartlett says he's preparing for his tutor's test on Saturday. Excellent, Terry. Yeah. I know. I know somebody else that is as well. Yeah. Woodworm Paul says he just finished his first coloured 10 inch bowl. Oh, that'll be interesting. Paul, have you seen pictures of that somewhere? I'll get this shape right now. Well. Oh, ben Jones says he can remember going to Christmas fairs as a kid and seeing the Turners making Christmas trees. And what not. Maybe you could get a generator and a mini, mini lathe and do the same. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's a good no. <laughs> it's in. It's indoors. There isn't much space. Oh, look. The Yorkshire gets in. Good afternoon. Glenn. Hi, Glenn. He says, ooh, that wood looks familiar. It's should, it, should it came from your, your workshop, Glenn. <laughs> It was pinched. I mean, borrowed. <laughs> I'm going to send it back. It's got a load of cracks in it. Can you send me another piece, Glenn? That's proper. Joe's got to go. She's off to her next appointment for a vocal coach. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, these singing lessons, they ain't working. <gasps> <That's> <gasps> shock. Oh, You're back on the list again, buddy. That was, that was on the list by Sunday. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Beating on Saturday on the list. Sure I don't think I ever actually technically came off the list. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I'll live with it. Live and learn, Mark. It's a heavy burden. Somebody has to bear it. Somebody got to bear it. Right, I'm going to put a tenon on this. Let's get me a caliber. See what I need. How far off we are. We don't change that camera to there. Uh, oops. It says, watch it back at. Watch it back at. A woodworm Paul says, I don't know how to put pictures up for people to see. Okay. Have you know uh, social media, Paul? Social media of any description? You should have an Instagram account or Facebook. Yeah, ben says, ben <laughs> Jones says, Wayne has been very welcoming this afternoon. What's wrong? Has he been on the wine already? Hey, <laughs> come on. That's not very nice, Ben. Wayne's always welcoming. Nice.
Right, clean that tenon up a bit. And then I'll take it down to size widthways. Michelle Usby's in the chat. Obviously, stopped. Hello, Michelle. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, hey. Why have you stopped she working? Break with the decorations, is she? Break oh, from the decorations, Michelle. Well, is that it? Well, what you neglected to say was, Michelle says, hi, everyone, and there's a little Christmas tree there. Yeah, I wasn't going to dignify it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the grinch. For the colour of your skin green, that's what we're going to do with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The green is back. So I make the right. look like, look, look like a Christmas saint. Mm. Into what? <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that one in there, Mark. <laughs> yep, for the next five weeks. Five weeks, Brian. Christmas is coming. Right, I think stop switch on this side. This is going to be a deep bowl. Mark that one. Let's mark that for next time. Recenter it. I'm going to have to super glue this again because these cracks are going right deep. So I'll give some. Sand and seen her now because that's <coughs> not far off finished. Do, 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 do. Bit of paper. This may take a while. This may take a little while. I've got a feeling that will be very thirsty, that piece of wood. It says it's, it's absolutely bone dry. It's unbelievable. <laughs> the Yorkshire Grit says, is it not dry enough to do a final turn, Terry? <laughs> was it uh, three years, Glenn? I can't remember now. I think you said it was three years old, wasn't it? Or three years cut or more. Yeah, it's pretty dry, I would think. To be honest, when you were chainsawing it up at Glynn's, the shavings from the centre of the, mm. the cuts yeah. were fairly dry. Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half years has been down. Well, I'm actually going to this in. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Nice colour. Two and a half years, Steve Glynn says. How many? Two and a half. Two and a half. And it's a big, big piece of wood, though. Probably still sitting around 18, 20%, something like that. I left the moisture meter in home, so in, and so I'm able to uh, check it now. Let that dry off a sack and I'll fill that with super glue. And I'll have a And I don't know the answer, so some of you guys may answer this. What's the difference between ash and olive ash? Olive ash just has more figuring. Yeah, the figuring. decoration of it. Clean some of these shavings out of the way so I can stand here. So there is no difference except for the amount it's of figure. Ash. Yeah, just the figure of it. Okay. Lynn says the big boulders are 12%. 12, well, that's, this will be 12% then. I would say it's cut off. Or more. Could be more, actually, because the big bowl obviously took longer to dry out than the small piece. Although this piece wasn't small, it was a good, uh, well. Yeah, it was a fair yeah. size. It was about. It was like this size, but it was it was an odd shape, you know. And I, yeah. to, to be able to get a bow blank out of it, I did. I say it took me an hour and a half to uh, cut it on the bandsaw and the rest of it, and then put it on the lathe and try and drew it up. Good afternoon, Jay. <laughs> Jay said. Right. Snooper glue Those, again. They look like um, windshakes, don't they? Not cracks. Yeah, yeah, the shakes, yeah. Right, right. Well, uh, 
Joshua Griff has added a little bit to the debate. He says, all of ice has hardwood that resembles olive wood. It is. Yeah, and that's, that's it there. Let's redo this. More super glue. So what I don't want to do is turn it out on the inside and finally just force the pieces. I don't think it's going to do that, but it's a good idea just to stabilize it a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Won't do any harm, for sure. I mean... If you spin that up too quick, pull it dry, and then it'll be everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I know somebody did that, actually. Well, so did I. I can't think of his name now. No, Got no. a funny funny hat. Looks like a Father Christmas hat and some... Something flame bagpipes. How, how much olive ash do you get for twelve ninety nine? How much did you want? As much, much as you want. want. It's uh going free if you go up to your HQ. Good evening, Eric Winkler. Hello, Eric. Oh, I just wanted to say to everybody. Anyone who's doing pens or light poles or wands, any small stuff, um, TK Maxx has mm -hmm. got a stock in of solid, so not laminated, not um, segmented, but solid acacia wood cutting boards oh. over, an in, over an inch and a half thick. They looked to be yesterday... 12 by 10 inch, inch and a half thick, and they were only 9.99. So, if you have a TK Max local to you, and you're looking get for some there. interesting wood, get down there, get a couple, cut them up. I did that a couple of years ago. I got about 60 blanks, 10 blanks, and two cutting boards. Very good. Acacia is nice mm -hmm. wood when you turn it. It is. My nearest uh, TK Max is in Belfast, unfortunately. It's not too far from you, Brian, is it? That's uh, 45 miles away. 45? Oh, okay. It's not that far away. There's people commute to work every day to it, so it's not that far. It only takes about an hour and a bit. Work? What's that? Yeah, I no, have no idea, Terry. Eric <laughs> Winkler's joined. Hi, Eric. How are you? Oh, shit. Well, you don't lost any me. Did you say no. that, did you? Know? I did, yes. Sorry, Sorry. I'll let you off. <laughs> Sorry. Try this a bit. <laughs> composing in my head what I was going to say about TK Maxx. Yeah, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to think and listen at the same time. Yeah. Mark Pritchard thinks we're frozen, are we? Is our picture frozen, Terry? Yeah, it looks like it. I think it am is. Am I frozen, am I? Yeah, yep. that picture is. Just change Still cameras, Mark. That's better. There you go. go back to the other one now, see will it come back on. Oh, no, it's frozen. Nope. It? It's frozen, it's frozen. Oh, well, you go stuck with that one for a while. Now. Stay on overhead now. Terry has oh, frozen. Yeah, they want that one to freeze because that was, you know, no, using I'm that the... camera. Yeah. All of the inside yeah. out as well. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Is it on a powered USB, that one, by any chance? It is. I'll switch it off and back on again. Uh, yeah, switch, switch the power off on it. it. That one there. I'll switch that one off. Give it a minute. As long as this one don't... That's right. That's not freezing up. <laughs> Eric, Eric suggests the CA glue got on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's that camera over Ooh. there, actually. Ooh. Probably get on Eric, this camera. He, the incident with the super glue happened in my in my uh, workshop, and uh, I had my television monitor was right in front of the bowl, and it got covered in super glue. No, it's not changed. Doug Miller says is is TK Max the same as their TJ Max? I don't know. I don't, no, no I don't idea, Doug. You know what TJ Max is? Uh, I wonder if I Max switch off a, yeah, virtual switch cameras off. and back on again. You can try it if you want. But... I might lose the feed then, might I? No, I shouldn't lose the feed, should I? No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Well, you kind of will. 
Well, if I don't come back, if it all goes, people, I'll I'll come back on another feeder to find me again. Right, let's go. Because I really wanted you to see oh, the yeah, inside yeah. turning. Actually, it. looking at it, TJ Max is pretty much the same as. Yeah. Yeah, TJ T- T- Max is, a, is is basically a, a store that sells sort of brand name goods at a cheaper price. I'll and be back in a minute. I'm just going to alter these around a bit. Pull the camera out. Computer off. I'm not going to switch your computer off. And says, are you going to sand it or just leave all the tool marks in? Oh. I'm going to sand it, Dippy. Yeah, yeah. I was going to leave. I was going to leave it like you left it, but Ooh. you know, no, nope. nope, still frozen. Nope. Damn. Oh well, we've lost that camera, then people. Sorry right. about that. Can't do much about it. Not a lot. Oh, we can do with it. Right. Time for sanding. Oh. I might need to take another cut, actually. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put my power cap on for this because it's big. So There'll be a lot of dust. Hang on. Just one more cut. <laughs> Eric had a bit of an issue. Oh, that's Terry putting his hood on. Eric had a bit of an issue. He had two horses got out yesterday. Yeah, we had an incident about four or five weeks ago now. Five of my horses got out and ended up about a mile away. Uh, until some kind person reported the fact that they were out. I had to go and fetch them. Along the main road, I have to say. You were very lucky. <laughs> they actually got out. Rex B's in. Hi, Rex. All right. Oh, I suppose we're having a 15% sale of all machines. Could be interesting. Oh, Mr. Benjamin. I wonder Michelle's telling you to be quiet. Hmm. Good afternoon, Rex. He says he's at the food doctor. That's a chiropodist. But he's learning wood turning at the same time. No better place to learn. Ben says, at Michelle Usbeck, you mean be quiet about the 15% off? Ben, and yes, I think she does mean don't mention that Axminster have 15% off. At the moment. I, I, I don't much, think much Michelle wanted you to mention that. How much would that get me off a chalk mark? Twelve ninety nine. Oh right, okay. Uh, oh yeah, twelve ninety nine. Fifteen uh, percent at twelve ninety nine is not that much really, is it? One pound twenty, sixty one pound eighty. Yeah. Front door just gone by the sound of it. Ah, that'll be your parcel, Terry. Yeah. Should, should be anyway. She could be in home. She's not. That's the way. So what grit is that you using there, Terry? Yeah. What grit are you using? Oh, sorry. This is eighty grit. Okay. It's really hard, but that's... Uh, it does. I don't envy Glenn the sanding yeah. of the big boat. Absolutely. I mean, I'm thinking he's going to be using a 9-inch... Uh, yeah, 9-inch sanding, but... Yeah. It's not too bad, though. We're definitely going to, have to do something about your headset, Terry. Yeah, no, we will. Terrible no, noise inside that. I, I could take it off if you like, and you just carry on. No, no, you're off. all right. You're all right. Mate. You're all right. One twenty. You, like, you get feedback in your inside your helmet there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sorry about Terry that. Terry has a well. Terry has a microphone which is really sensitive, guys, compared to the Jabra headsets. Yeah. 
Really good. That's why we get that funny noise in the background there. Could be the motor from this uh, headset as well. Yeah, from the Mustang cleaner. No, I don't think it is. It's just a, it's like a air filter. Like a feedback kind of noise you're getting. So. Oh, really? But you've been going Mark, for you've been going thirty five minutes, mate. Eh? Okay, okay, Mark. See you later, Mark. Catch you later, mate. See you, Mark. Thanks for popping in. So if you're enjoying what uh, Terry's doing, guys, don't forget to give him a quick thumbs up there. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. It's appreciated. You've been going for 35 minutes, Terry. Lovely job. And we have 47 people watching currently. Well done. I'm impressed. And I uh, thank you all. 180. At least I'll hopefully finish this though before Glennon finishes his. Oh, well, we better luck, yeah. We have to have another another little uh, session up at Joshua Great HQ. Absolutely. Uh, uh, with, with, uh, with, with um, power hoods. <laughs> and do a bit of sanding. And we might take an extra couple of dust extractors as well. Yeah. yeah. This time, Brian, don't drink so much, and then oh. we start earlier. Oh, it's just uh, two forty. Barry's Wood Creations yeah. has joined. Hi, Barry. Yeah. Hi, Barry. Uh, Trevor, no, they don't. He has, to, he has to wear a little padded, wooded hat, hat woolly hat on the inside, because they're all too big for hobbits. <laughs> Just to let everybody result. know, when we were up Yorkshire Great HQ, we uh, had a bolt buy of, um, what's it called, Rhino Grip, is it? Yeah. Sand paper. The red line bad stuff. paper. The stuff you, you know, which is Velcro back, or not Velcro back, but it's the go on Velcro thing. And we're using that this week. It's, um, well, we got it in rows of, like, I don't know, 50 you know, meters, something like that. 20 meters, uh, 20, 20 meters of each jet we bought each. And we got a lovely deal from Dan Smith of Taylor's Murfield, so we'll thank him publicly for that. Yep. Sedley 61's just joined. Hello, Sedley. Hi, Sedley. Stop it. <laughs> Right, that's the end of that. More easily, please. He's gone a bit quieter, Brian. Every time somebody else comes, every time somebody new comes in. <laughs> oh dear! All right, pair of scissors. Just gonna have to cut a piece of this off. Yeah. So, if anybody's uh, interested in this uh, Rhino Grip line, beautiful stuff. And it lasts a long right, time. Rhino well. Grip Red Line, it's called. Red Line. Red Line. Uh, nice it's, uh, what's it? Dan Smith of Taylor's Murphy. Excellent. Yep. It was a brilliant deal. Now, there we are. That's that bit done. Uh, looking for a tin or something. I don't know what to use. I think, I'll, I think I might use this here. May use this. He works a great. I'll save going on to other stuff. Got uh, me paper on the floor. <laughs> that camera's still working, yeah. That's right. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that Yorkshire Grit? This is Yorkshire Grit, oh. believe it or not. It's that famous brown paste. Oh, drop the lid down. Oh. Uh, sand and paste designed. You know that's Reduce not a lid. Using sandpaper. That's not a lid. That's a product saver. That's a product saver. That's exactly right. That's the original. When it's on, it's a lid. When it's on, it's a lid. Are you going to do it, Brian? No, you are. Of course, you ain't got Joe, have we? No, but, uh, he has the, uh, he has the, abr the abridged version. Bridged version. 
Apply yes, liberally, did, says the man. You did apply sand and sealer. I did, yeah. Right. Put the products ever back on. Okay. Ready? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, you just got to wait. Turn the speed down a little bit. Get it going to four or five hundred revs. There we go. And, and okay. off we go. That's a galloping version. And you can feel this stuff actually breaking down while you're using it. So you know that the grit's getting finer and finer and finer. So it's making a finer and finer cut. Because this is a cutting paste designed. Well, it does give a good shine. It's not designed after finish. But we'll finish that. Well, so by his wood creations, as you said, the strange bit of a Who? Obviously something that him and Ben have been talking about. He says, one of the grippers split, uh, and I didn't have a spare, so I just evened it up. One of the grippers? Uh, yeah, and Ben gave him a thumbs up. So. All right, okay. I'm not sure what I'll make of that. <laughs> What's a gripper? Are the gripper jaws or whatever? I don't know. Jennifer's Crafts and Creations said, bring back Joe, all is forgiven. Oh, oh, Jennifer. Trek. I don't know what that's for, Mark. That's because you get your own back. That's it. That's a bit of uh, payback there. Bit of it's payback there if you take, you know, taking the Mickey so. out of her uh, Fair enough. Bailey life. Right. That's done that bit. Let's turn this inside out. Should have done its job by now. And it probably has. It uh, feels like it has. Eight, four Oi, months. Michelle. Michelle. Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can hear her laughing down the hallway. <laughs> I think I might actually have to go and get a job work. It's actually quite cold in my house today. Oh. I have done the heating on. We had the fire day yesterday, last I've night. Been a, I've been a poor pensioner. I don't know if I can afford it or not. I had a yeah. log burner <laughs> late yesterday. After doing the brakes on my car, I can't afford to put the heating on until January. <laughs> Jeez. I would bother then, Mark. Only every other week. Only every other week. week. <laughs> every other Tuesday, I can afford to have the heating on. <laughs> yeah, for 12 minutes. <laughs> that should the be price, that. The price, so the, price of fuel, uh, if the price of fuel doesn't start coming down shortly. We'll all be in the same boat. That looks quite nice, isn't it? Apparently, the price of... Um, Petrol has uh, reduced somewhat on the global market. Right. We'll still pay the but same price, though. But it's not coming down at the petrol pumps. I wonder no, how well, that works. It does, is it? I wonder how that works. The thing is, what they do, you see, is when petrol goes up, they put it up right away. When it comes yep. down, they say, oh, well, we had to pay the proper price for it, you know, the, 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 the extra yeah, exactly. price for it. So, unfortunately, we can't. I think we're all stupid. <laughs> But oh, when it goes up, the they still got trillions of gallons in stock, which they don't tell you that. They just put the price up. Right, so I'm going to finish this with a bit of Am So, oh, so Barry, uh, yeah, Barry has Four clarified words. it was one of the buttons on his cold jaws, one of the gripper buttons on the cold jaws. Or should I that try that with wood wax 22, Mark? What do you reckon? Try the wood wax 22. What I'll try the wood wax 22. Yeah. I'm using that. Well, I, tr I only tr I, tr I bought a tin the other day, didn't I? And only tried it at um, I tried it at uh, Glynn's. I was up there, I bought it. So let's just try that. Oh, right. can always. Uh, you bought it in Snainton's. That's where I got it in Snainton's. I don't know where Snainton's is. Mine, I'm just in the back of the car. Somebody tell me where that is. <laughs> Michelle says I'm not working hard enough. Is that me you're talking to, Michelle, or, or Mark? Better not be me. Well. It's probably me, actually. It usually is. I watched Terry, what's name, the other day, demonstrating this on YouTube. Because... Most of you have what been you saying you should let it dry for 10 minutes, but he said you shouldn't. You just let it go tacky and pull it off right away. As soon as it starts to go tacky, which it's doing now. As soon as it starts gripping the cloth a bit. Starting to grip the cloth now. Off it up. 
So she was I'll... talking to you. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah, see that? Now she doesn't. She never. She doesn't call me darling very often. So that could be anybody. <laughs> I was probably talking to me then. <laughs> Something starts with D, but it's not darling. <laughs> Whoops. Doc Miller's asking if we finished the big bowl that we were working on up at. Uh, no, that's that's for another time. We worked on it solid for two days, got it to a point where I don't think it needs any more tool work. I think it's down to yeah, it's just sanding and sanding up and it, I think. Sanding and smoothing now. Clint's gonna do some, we're gonna go back up again and have another go. I can get a thousand revs out of this and that's it. So it's still heavy in the middle. It's lopsided, although it's round, if you know what I mean. What the mess? What the mess? I mean, are you back? Yeah, I had to go and get a jumper on. <laughs> oh, it's freezing. Oh, no. Doc. Oh, he says, not Doc Miller, says, not the bowl. The piece you were learning the skill. Learning the skill, give you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Skill. Yeah, you were learning the skill, weren't you, Mark? God. I, I was stood that. there for, I was a prop. Just to stand there. They said, stand there and look pretty. So I did. And it didn't work. Well, we would have picked somebody else who wanted somebody to look she pretty. didn't look pretty. <laughs> was the prettiest one oh, there. That, that, oh, that's why we left you. You have to see, did you ever get pretty? It didn't work. Oh, that looked too bad. Look at that. That doesn't look too bad at all. No, oh, it's not there. I wonder okay, if the other okay. camera's working. Let's see if it works. No, don't see any. No. That's disappointed me, that is. Oh, it's actually gone off the camera, so. I think mm. I can. Uh, New camera ordered soon today. After this, yeah, I, I would suggest that's a good idea. And buy, don't buy another eighteen pound one, Terry. No, I'm just. But this will be a. Um, be much Jennifer. More. Actually, Black Friday, you might get a. You might pick up a. <laughs> the Black Friday deals are still on, so you might pick up a good uh, deal on was Amazon. Good camera, actually, there was a good webcam on. Amazon this morning uh, on their Black Friday deals. Seventeen ninety nine was twenty five ninety nine. It's one right. of the ones I've got. Thank you very much, Jennifer. She also says you get twelve ninety nine one. That's the one. That's the one I got actually, Michelle. That's I got the twelve ninety nine one. Just going to wind this in to make sure it's centered before I tighten it up. Terry, are you going through OBS? Yeah, I am actually. Just uh, just click on OBS a sec. Yeah. And click on the camera that's frozen, and then click right. on deactivate, then reactivate. See if that does it. Sometimes okay. Do it. Uh, where do I find that then? So I'll, I'll yes, you have to click, click on the camera. That's the camera, yeah. Right, Just go to properties. To the left, it says properties. No, there should be a box that says deactivate. Just to no, no, it just says properties. All right, properties. Yeah, okay, so that's not doing anything. Yeah, I've actually clicked, you clicked on the camera. Yeah, you have to go on to the little eye next to the camera in sources. Uh, tail eye, yeah, got that. That's right. the eye. That's so unclicked click it. it back on. Back on. No, it doesn't work. No, yep. camera's buggered. Yeah, there's, there's no light on the camera either. Sorry, there's, there's just no light on it. So, if, did you That's click properties? Did you click? Hold on. Go back into the camera again and click properties. Uh, I've got to go to the next one again. Hang on, Dink. All right. Unclick that. Properties. Uh, she, properties are not, properties not coming up. It's nothing. It doesn't. This is uh, no source selected. Have you clicked the eye back on? Eye back on, yeah. Uh, so you, you there. And, and, eyes and, back and, on. Uh, yeah. So in the Properties. sources. Uh, I know we got it. Know. It's just come yeah. up now. Right. So um, now click properties. I've got properties. It says restart playback source begin act becomes active. No, no, no. Properties. This is a sub overlay. It says here. Let's try. All right. Okay. Hold on a minute. 
you, you're Let's in the wrong place. There. Back to the camera. Back on the camera now. Right, so if you, click, if you click in sources, highlight the camera. So click on, click on the on. camera itself. Yes? Uh, yeah, like hang on. No, I haven't because I'm, something else is happening here. All right, okay. Right. Tailstock camera, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, put we'll camera. Put the eye back on, so we've got the camera on. Right. Yeah. And it's, oh, and, I've got and, to deactivate now. Hang on, it's a bit deactivate. Yeah. And now it's just react. popped up. Now reactivate. Reactivate. The lights come on. <laughs> there, there, there you go. There you go. And it's a genius. Good job on all the <laughs> computers, isn't it? Isn't it absolutely perfect, Terry? There you go. You're fine. <laughs> right, people, you can now see me destroy this piece of timber. <laughs> ben Jarman says, Terry, try resetting the circuit breaker in the workshop. <laughs> If, yeah. if all else fails, pull the plug, start again. If all else fails, give up. Right, that's that. <laughs> oh, Rob, we're turning this joint, huh, Copper? I'll Hello, leave Rob. the center in for a minute. Hello, Rob. I'll leave the center in for a short while. <laughs> while I... Ben, ben oh. Gellin says, hi, Cow. Hello, Cow. That's our good friend, Rob. Right. And of course, what Terry was demonstrating there is that you should always spin the wood by hand before I did before turning the lathe on to make sure it doesn't hit the tool rest. I did and, do that. You know. Do you know what I did, Mark? Good test there. Good do you know test. as I push? Hang on, I can't show you this really. Can I? I can show you. <laughs> no, don't, don't, no, 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 no. I did do it. I tested it. I revolved it. It worked. And then as I pushed down on the locking handle, you, you to moved the, the tool. I moved yeah. the actual banjo. Yeah, no. And it does that sometimes, we, which is it's we actually upset, you know. Yeah, never mind. Here we go. At least you can see it happening now, people. It's working. Yay, look at that. Shavings flying at the camera. Love it. We get slow motion shavings in a minute. I have to try it flat. We'll get Terry to try and aim them right out of the lens. I will in a sec. I know. We'll try and get this get bump off. It's really out of uh, balance. I might be able to get a bit more speed up then. Oh, there's somebody new come in there, Zed. Rob. Hmm. Welcome along, Rob. No words. <laughs> just, uh, just see if that speed into comes up a bit now. Things, Ellie. The mud is a Christmas. Well, I wonder if we can get out of it. Right. Look at that. Hey, what's a Star Trek? Take the uh, tail stock away for and can get in there. Us. <coughs> Terry. Terry. Yes. What's that hole there? I don't know. Why is there a hole there, Terry? Because I put it on a, uh, I put it on a woodworm screw there. Um, I oh. drilled the hole for it. Somebody else knew. As somebody else knew then. There's a huge crack appeared, Ooh. or not appeared, but there was a huge crack, which it actually went over the top of. So I moved this. I had to move the center of it to there instead of there. Andy, the woodwork learner's in, and Pete Twisted Trees are in. Hello, Pete. Hi, Andy. Pete says he can't stop for long. He's watching on his phone. Nice to see you in, everybody. Right, let's move that light out of the way a minute because I can't. And because there's two really new people in. Get out there. Oh, you're gonna have a demonstration, people. Strength. Give him strength. Ah, <laughs> oh, love it. Right. 
current speed up a little bit. We won't get too much out of this for some reason. 1200. I think this is blunt again. Mute? Take from 53? So what do you mean by mute? <laughs> yeah, blunt. Change that one. Do I another? Mark and Terry will understand this, but um, Michelle is outside the window doing her thing outside the window. No, but she does She's waving you know. at you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she likes to do that, doesn't she? She does. She's outside polluting the atmosphere and her lungs. <laughs> polluting the atmosphere. Mm. Sitting some hard lumps in there. It must be knots or something. It's going I'm, sure it's not, front. I'm sure it's not the super glue you put in it. No, it's not gone that far in. <laughs> if it has gone that far in, then there's something to, uh, going to happen to this bowl in a minute. It means it's cracked right away, so I'll have a look in a sec. I'll have a word, I'll I'll have a word with Joe Chris and see if can get her to sing that and record it for you. Uh, I was, was going to two came in at once there, Jennifer, so I could only play it the one. Who's <laughs> just to everybody? And to early Christmas, Brian. It's not early. There are only four in the back. It's not early. Not you early. You wouldn't go that early, Brian. It's not early. You usually start about the 1st of November. <laughs> I've been good to you this year. A bit far over the tool rest now. Let's just see where the, yeah. those cracks are going right through. So, okay. Nope. Uh, Not that, at the moment. Uh, I have to say, Terry, that camera doesn't need changing, it deserves changing. <laughs> well done, Brian. Right. It's a bit pixely, I have to say. It is, yeah. <laughs> Tommy's workshop's in. Good afternoon, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. I'm leaning way over here, so. This one's for you, Tommy. I just looked up at the clock in my office and thought we'd been going for two hours there because it says it's three o'clock. I think maybe I forgot to change that clock. I did mine as well, I forgot to change mine. Well, we're just at two o'clock now, Ty. 
Nghe chưa bạn? Long way to go down yet. Uh, I'll go, I think I'm going to have to turn this headstock out a bit. So I can't reach in there now. Sorry about that, but it's going to have to come out slightly. Still see it? Yep. Yep. I can get, actually get in there then. <laughs> Nick Castle says hello, everybody. Has the computer tutorial finished now? <laughs> yeah. It has indeed, Nick. That, Nick. Yeah. Welcome along, buddy. Sorry about that, buddy. But it was either that or you couldn't see me turning the inside of the bowl. It would have been really boring, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. We could have seen the shavings flying out on the... I wouldn't have seen what the tool was doing, though. Actually, I might have to sharpen them now. They can't blunt again. Well, if you think they're blunt, stop and sharpen it. Don't be... Yeah. yeah I, I can't wait with a blunt tool. Actually, I've got another sharp one here. Oh, well, that's all right. Three-eighths probably won't... To... Just use this one for a sec. Don't be teaching people to persevere with a blunt tool. No. It's not a good idea. That's a great shot. Yep. That's brilliant. Yeah, shavings are just flipping in towards the screen. Or towards the camera. I bread a bit because I'm taking a big cut with a 3.8 gauge. So. Don't over it. If I had a depth gauge, and I could try find out how far I gotta go. With it. What? No depth gauge, Terry. No. Apparently, there was one being made for me, but lost, lost in the poster. You think? Grandma Ruth. Oh, Grandma Ruth tube. Oh dear. Hello, Grandma Ruth tube. Uh, uh, Ruth says he always seems to use a blunt tool. <laughs> I love you I'm too, dear. Even, I'm, not, I'm not even going there at all. Are you going to go there, are you? I didn't think nope. you were. <laughs> and, and Grandma Ruth's in, so guess what? Go on. Guess what? Don't show him the wraith, because we got loads of those stupid things, Brian. What do you mean, stupid things? She'll have them out of the cupboard and... Get them out, get them on display, Ruth. Get them out. Christmas is coming. Let's go. Brian says it's Christmas already, Ruth, so I don't believe him. The <laughs> Woodward Lerner says, How big is the funnel being made? It's not going to be a five funnel. inches deep, Andy. It'll be five inches deep by the time he's finished, Andy. It's a, the it's funnel a will be five and a quarter. Yeah. Actually, I better check the depth because it's getting down a bit. <laughs> Use my other depth gauge. Trusty depth gauge. Yeah. There we go. Oh, got a bit to go yet. Yeah, a bit to go yet. I'm going to have to sharpen those bigger tools because the three eighths is too thin. Yep. Vibrating Overhanging too much. the tool rest too much. Overhanging yeah. too much, yeah. I can get in a bit more, but I'm not going to risk that. I'd rather. Todd at Glen Cove Woodworks has just joined us. Hello, Todd. He says, Greetings, y'all. On vacation at my sister's house with the volume down so it's not to disturb her. He's disturbed okay. enough as it is that I have a sister who's exactly the same, Todd. I understand. But if you haven't got your um, volume up, there's no point in me playing my nice bit of music for you. No. Cut for that. But everybody else could hear it. Probably can't, Todd can't hear you anyway. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Welcome along, Todd. I'm Good hoping that uh, Ruth's not listening too much and she'll be coming out with a with her whatever they're called. Come on, Ruth. Remember, no. I was about to no, say get them out there, but I better not. <laughs> sharp. Uh, Todd says it's loud enough to hear is that, is that Elvis wants a seriously bad impersonation, impersonation of Elvis, I have to say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of supposed to be. So, Woodward Learners asked a question. Yes, Andy. So, he says, on a small bow, six inches, yeah. how thick should the bottom be roughly? Well, you want the walls and the, and the bottom to be... The Pretty much the same thickness right yeah. the way around, don't you? Yeah. So it's six inch bow, you're looking at about half an inch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Rob from Copper would tell me he suggested that the bottom should always be more than zero millimeters. Yeah. <laughs> it can be a design aesthetic too. If it's a small bow, six inches. Really, you can make the, the bottom the same thickness as the walls. But if you're a big, large bowl and it's not too um, deep, you may want to leave the, the bottom a little thicker to add balance. Depends on the size of the bowl and the aesthetic yeah. look you're going for. Okay. Really? But as a rule of thumb, yeah, you could say that the base should be the same thickness as the walls. I'm seeing the cracks now through here, so I'm not going to be going too thin with this. I wouldn't. So, uh, Grandma Dush is asking, what am I coming out with? Question mark. Don't you say. Now, oh, they might be in the loft, so hopefully she won't have seen them yet. Uh, okay. Those toys think, uh, where it's like you press a, the kids press a button and all three of them start singing. I have another one here, which does this, uh, which is um, yeah, stupid toys, Ruth, like 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 Brian's got now. I despair. That was my that was my Highland Santa. Oh dear. It's got a lot of pressure. This is a very elegant looking bowl, Terry. I'm Thank liking. you. A deep salad bowl, I suppose. Yep. We're looking about half inch on the bottom now, but it's I don't know whether oh, it's like the walls. It's just, be much more. It's just the same thing, it's just the walls, really. Um, yeah. I could probably go down a little bit more there. I have to say to Rupert that, uh, Andy, uh, you're probably right, that is music to die by. Uh. I think the batteries are getting a bit flat. Is that standard 45 degree grind you have on that? Yeah, this tool? is. I'm just about to use my flat grind or 80 degree or 68 degree grind. Right. That's not too bad there now, depth wise. We'll take a nice finishing cut with a nice sharp chiseled. If I can get the handle low enough.
Starting to lose the bevel there. So get the other gouge. Go went very quiet there. I was engrossed watching. This yeah. one. Can't see it. Can you see that one? Yeah. 60 degree. English grind. 60, 70 degrees, something like that. It's pretty. Uh, you didn't shut Martin a get on a jig then, Terry. Just do it by hand. I did it by hand. Right. Yeah, I'm a grind. I'm a grinder. Yep. It should allow me to keep the bevel on all the way down. <laughs> uh, Ruth has just said that uh, you're making a lovely job of my potty. Thank you, Ruth. Slide it under your it's bed. Just, it's going to be a goes under. <laughs> oh, I'm still here, Jennifer. He, he, he fell asleep there, Jennifer, as well. You woke him up. I'm just admiring Terry doing a great job on this. Doing That's why I was. Cuts. That's what I was doing too. I just kind of got engrossed on the cut along the inside. The... Yeah. And, and he suggests if the bowl cracks, you could always use some resin because we know how much you love it, Terry. <sighs> Since you talk about your resin, it's swearing. Yeah. That's a I don't, bad I actually, I don't mind resin. Stuff. I just don't like turning it. Hey, he doesn't mind resin in somebody oh. else's workshop. Yeah. <laughs> You know, somebody else has got the resin, not me. This is the bit that gets me all the time. This trying to get this nice finished cut right across the bottom of the bowl and keeping the curve the same all the way down. Take your time. Yep. Slow your it's, all, you're just, it's not rushing. It's just take your time and you got to slow your, your uh, speed of travel with the tool as you get nearer yeah. the centre anyway. Because yeah. the, 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 the wood's spinning a bit slower in the middle than it is on yeah, the outside. Yeah, the speed edge. in the middle is, is a tenth of the, or a quarter of the speed of the outside. So your rate of flow, rate of travel, is, has to be slower. Yep. Right, let's see if I can just. I think that's a mistake there. a lot of um, wood turners make in the beginning. They, they start the cut at the outside and the as they go towards the center, yeah. they continue the same speed, yeah. So. One last cut. That's all it took. That, yeah, that's that one looks one. like a good record power. Um, old gauge it is it's an old record power gauge i've had for i don't know since the 80s <laughs> <laughs> but it was getting down a bit so i thought i'll and, uh, turn it into I'm this laughing at uh, trevor <laughs> peter hobby turner has just said yeah. that looks like a reasonable sized bowl relative to his chuck but it looks huge relative to terry <laughs> <laughs> well done trevor <laughs> oh, pick yourself up off the floor, Brian. <laughs> pick yourself up off the floor. <laughs> I nearly fell off my chair then. I'm actually coming with the left hand wing now because it's so s slow in, in there. Yeah. Just... Indeed, Andy. Andy has just said Brian never rushes his lives. <laughs> Brian's always getting told off for rushing. Isn't that correct, Mark? Yes, this. Oh, slow down, slow down. Slow down, you're going too fast. You gotta make Gary, a good time. Gary, yes. Gary, about, I think it must be three, four inches out from the center. Yes. There's a tool mark all the way around. Yes. There, see that one there? Oh. No. Yeah, that's, that's the there. one there. Yeah, that's a little, one, yeah. Actually, it's a little bump there. So. I'll go back in and get that one. Good plan. So, save me having to hang over the thing. I'll, I can actually get a better position on my. Beef got something to go, he says. Catch Bye, you Brian. later, folks. 
See you later, Brent. Bye, Brent. Ben Jama says, without the scraper. That's what I've ever done, Where was that lump to? Yep, oh, right where your oh, fingertips oh. is now. Yeah. yeah. Of course, being this chisel, it's got to be miles around. <laughs> Here's the other one. Say. <sighs> Better. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A bit further. About another inch. Just coming up to it now. All right. Might have been where I picked up the cut from the other gouge. Yep. There you go. Past it now. I got it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think you have. Blows off glasses. Let's have a look. Yeah. That looks better. Might, might seal these cracks here. You know. Oh, that one's right. No, it's not right. Right. Yeah, it's cracked right through. I'm going to put some sealer on and seal the cracks, actually, because uh, yep. yeah, they, they, they come right through, and the Super Dude never, never came through from last. The other one, you know. From the eight, so. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get some sand and sealer on it. Good plant. Seal it and sand it afterwards. Right. Are you are you pretend whistling, Terry? No. <laughs> oh. Okay, whistle. I'll just take my headphones off there. Thanks very much, Terry. <laughs> there we go. That's sounding sea lid, it? Now I'm in trouble. Why is that? Oh, no, no more. Let's back it. I, I, I could, I could count to that back it, remember. <laughs> Just be careful, or it'll be. <laughs> Love it. So, so Ben Jalman says, "Can we do whistler requests?" <laughs> I can request Rosanna by Toto. He's had her, isn't he? <laughs> oh, what was the name of the famous singer, the whistler? Um, <coughs> Roger Whittaker. Roger Whittaker. Yeah. Roger Whittaker, I think. Dr. Bob's in. Hi, Dr. Bob. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? Hi, Bob. Well, I hope. Oh, there he is, Dr. Bob. Hi, Bob. Oh, new person in. Are you listening, Dr. Bob? Oh. Uh, you have to suffer this. <laughs> We've all had to suffer it, Bob. Apparently Christmas is here for Brian. Christmas is coming. He lives in the third world country, four, of course. Four and a half weeks to go. Yay. Are you this doing a live tonight, world. by the way, Brian? Yes, I am. Are you? Oh. Is there going to yes, be any of this bloody music tonight, too? Uh, well, I. Uh, as You're going to be short of earworms be, tonight, Brian. <laughs> as I'll be using my hands, I don't think they will. Yes, please, Michelle. 
give him a clip around the head while you're there too. Yeah, big clip. I'm just going to let that dry off a second, team. Well, it was Michelle's fault. <laughs> she brought me the said decoration. Chris Dodds wants to know if you can whistle far, far away. I can, uh, well, I could, but then you wouldn't hear it. Oh, that's, that's what we're on about. I see, Chris. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeremy says, can you remove Brian, Michelle? Listen, Jeremy. Yeah, just leave the sa just leave the Santa hat. Take him out. <laughs> yeah, that's that could be a better idea, actually. All oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I'm afraid I'm live on YouTube at eight o'clock this evening with my glorious earworms, Mark and Terry. I hope. And Pete. And Pete. Pete can, if he and can maybe make it. Joe. And Joe for the singing. It. Yeah. Sing along with Joe. Just going to put my extractor on. And I'm unfortunately seeing you're going to have to listen to my headset whine again. Unless you want me no, to mute no. it, Brian. No, no, you're all right, mate. You may have a gem of wisdom to tell us. There we go. And um, there. There's a link for Brian's live tonight. Oh, I was just going to do that. Thank you, Mark. It's quite all right. Can you replace I'm Brian not, with Holly, will it be? I'm <laughs> quite sure what state I'm going to be in because I'm having my third COVID booster at quarter past five. Ah, you'll be fine. Oh, when am I getting mine? Come and think of that. 26th. That's not the date, is not. I will be wearing some kids. Oh, you will. That's correct. You want the kids. That's right, Mark. <laughs> I can take a neck out of Brian, then. I think Ben Jammer seems to think that Holly Willoughby is better looking than me. I'm not so sure about uh, that, Ben. Sucker Spots well. is better looking than you, Brian. Oi, Sorry, oi, oi. outside voice, inside voice. I do apologise. Ooh, I can't believe you said that out loud. What's wrong with Ollie Willoughby? She's not good. I don't know. Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> Clinton, Clinton the Wood Dancer says, great, we'll get to see Brian put mortars in a tenon again with those e-worms. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, Terry turned the bowl today, so I was going to turn the bowl this evening. But... Oh, wow. Well. <sighs> If you like, I don't mind. Don't know what I'm going to do. I have a piece of uh, bar alum which I have to go and process this afternoon. So I may elm. just process that. Uh, yeah, bar alum. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Turn that, that'd be lovely. Change the battery. So we'll have a go and see what that is. So Andy had his on his booster injection on Saturday. He says no side effects at all, at all, at mm. all. Is that a clear out? Don't think we didn't notice you dropped the battery off your patrol, by the way. No, it wasn't seated properly. I don't know why that was. It was a new, I've just put a new battery in because the other one packed up. I, I was actually going to let my way with that, Mark. But now you no, mention it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't mind. Bunch of whatever you are. No, you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for new earworms. Anybody if you're interested? Oh, oh look, are look you all, now? that Jeez, won't look, let me down. Look at all the hands up there, like. <laughs> <laughs> earworms that won't let me down. <sighs> earworms that encourage. Well, that's what we're doing. We're encouraging you. Encouraging me to make sure the battery's fit. Oh. Circular Wood from Keith is in. He says, hi, okay. oh, made it, made it mean, in the end. You know what I mean? All right, sorry, I had to go and buy gas. <laughs> you could have bought some for Terry. His is about to run out. Yeah, mine is actually. Oh, no, it's still going. I, it I is, I see up. that, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Rob for Copper or Wood Turning says, I would walk away now, your worms. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. You know publicly, what it's like, you know. Publicly advertises for new earworms. But then we're professionals to the end, so we'll just stay here now. There was a new person joined. What was that? Oh, it. yeah. Keith was in. Keith, this is for you. Oh, yeah. Everybody else had to suffer, Keith. Four and a half weeks to Christmas, guys, just so you know. Shut up. Someone. <laughs> Not allowed to mention the C word for at least another three what, weeks. You mean you mean Christmas? Oh. <laughs> Get used to it. Are you, uh... <laughs> Doctor Bob says we need to unionize the earworms. <laughs> unionize us, yeah, that's probably right, Bob. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, if that's a good idea or not, Dr. Bob. Nice 180. Andy. Has anybody had their lunch? Has everybody had their lunch? I've not had any lunch yet. I'm actually quite hungry. I feel a bit peckish. Oh, I'm having my lunch out either. Oh, to the mark there. there. <laughs> I think I might have to go and partake of something after this is over. So, circular wisdom, she said, here what? I had the volume off. Is the volume oh, on now, well Keith? Done, Keith? Is the volume on now, Keith? i just wait for an answer there. If you've got the volume off, he won't hear you. Oh, this is true. I didn't wait for an answer then. Ben Jalman had lovely pork and stuffing sandwich. Oh, you did, did you, Ben? Still a little mark there. I'm going to get that out. New piece of glass paper. Oh, sand paper, whatever we call it. <laughs> yeah, no Trevor, he won't be able to. So Doug Miller says he has to go, but this bowl is turning out great, Terry. Thank you, Doug. He says, in, he says, Thank Appreciate you. it. See you soon. No point moving on to the next grit if we can't get this mark out from the last one. No, you can't. Defeats the whole object of sanding, brushing it. Circular wood from Keith is turning a table lamp tomorrow. Right. At lunchtime. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, we're we'll looking forward to that. On that crack, actually, it's where it's probably the sandpaper is bouncing off the crack. Got it. Two forty. We're done. Time to Yorkshire grit. You can hear Mark sing again. Sing along, with Christmas. You got? Have you got any songs for Christmas, Mark? Brian's probably lining a few up. I think I, I, think I may have. You're going to wear a Christmas. Have you got a Christmas smock oh, ready, Brian? There might just be uh, a Christmas smock involved. You never know. Oh. You're doing a turning on Christmas Day. Oh, no, it's Saturday, isn't it? No, I don't do Saturdays. I don't know. The Yorkshire Grit says the grain inside is very striking. I agree. It is. And Jennifer from uh, uh, said, you, Oh no, please, no singing. Fine, I won't. 
one. Chris Dodd. Chris Dodd has said, that's the best teenager's breakfast bowl I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a whole packet of cornflakes in there. The other cereals are available, of course. Right, that's the end of the sand, isn't it? Thank goodness for that. Switch off that. Get that noisy, beautiful thing off your head. Yeah, that's it. Back again now in peace and quiet. Oh. Lovely old job. A bit more of this paper stuff. I've sanded and sealed it. I don't need to seal it again. What I need to do now is. Oh, you sanded a whole lot off there. Mm, oh. Yeah, but, 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 but it's gone just... in, it's soaked in. That bowl looks very similar to the large bowl of Glynn's. The one we because it's yeah. the same one. Same one, and same timber. This is an off yeah, cut of that big one. Just going to burnish this off a minute. Came off the same trunk. This is an off cut. It was about, well, I've got it down to 10 inches by five, five. five and a quarter. Or it's five now, because it's turning. But it was, it's, um, it was about 14 inches by uh, eight. But the way it was actually cut off off the other piece made it so that I could only get this out of it with any, you know, what's the name? That's looking all right. <laughs> Chris Great Dodge is, it's the Hobbit version. It's the Hobbit version. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I could probably get inside this one. <laughs> oh, right. Nice one, Chris. A bit more of this. You see, I put it there sand and seal it first this time. Because I do have a tendency to forget my yeah, age. Just the I age. forget even. It was written on the top you of mine too, and I still forget. You get old, you know, like me. And me. Well, I'm not as old as Terry. Not far off, though. You act Yeah. It. Two years. You <laughs> act it. Yeah, I do. I. Can you look at it? <laughs> I'm, known for, I, I'm well known for acting my age. <laughs> I had a good paperwork, paper round, so I'm not too bad. Yeah. I think I put too much in there. Oh, well. Is that, is that Ruth that tells you that, Terry? Yeah. She, she's like, no comment. Product saver back on. <laughs> you must have been. <laughs> And says, Derry, you could have had a bath in the one he's got on his lathe. <laughs> Good, Glenn. Absolutely. And when you finished it, I might have. Somebody said that when they, on one of the videos that was shot at the weekend. Is that a child's bath you're turning? <laughs> no, it's a hot tub for Terry. It feels lovely yeah. when it when it smooths Jennifer. out. Jennifer. What's she saying? She said, what? Carries a hundred and ten? No. No. You're not singing, Mark. I can't hear you. For hands of a bit, you can be soft to your face with light brown. You're squitty. Better. <sighs> With light brown, you're so gritty. Yeah. No. I can feel it smoothing out now. Starting Three to get or four very months. Fine. Very Three fine. to four months of work. Yeah, it's working. Yep. Oh, you can actually feel it in your, uh, under your. Feel fingers. it through the cloth. Yeah, you feel it as it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's clever stuff, no doubt. I've seen it on uh, Sunday That's there. Beats, this beats there. sanding it up to even 800 grit by hand, doesn't it? I mean, let alone well, it does. Uh, You've seen, seen Steve doing that uh, resin piece yesterday. It just speeds the whole system. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. 
trying to speed up a bit. And he says, Terry is 21 and thousands of days old. Yeah, in dog years, I'm dead. <laughs> you know that, ain't Dog years, you're Gandalf. In dog years, I'm yeah, Gandalf. Uh, surprisingly enough, if Terry had a beard, they would look a bit like Gandalf. Yorkshire Kid says, when you think it's finished, give it another 60 seconds. Okay. What do you do, Glint? <gasps> My little dog. <laughs> come on, then. I'll be come. Yeah, that's a good dog. <laughs> Don't think he's that old, but I'm sure he has to apply for his license every three years. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's the other thing. At least it's free. And and, and, they, and they took his lottery license off him this year. They did. They took mine away. Yeah. Well, they didn't take it off me. They offered me. Did I want to keep it going? If I did, I had to go to the doctors. I'd take exams. Uh, another, old medical exam. Old medical. I'm not, exam, I'm medical not, saying, the Terry, rest of I'm not saying that Terry's old, but the Queen's got fed up with sending him birthday cards. Hey, Beckett. I could start a list. Well, I'm done now, so I'm going to do another 60 seconds. <laughs> How many enough lists? This is true, of course. This is true. And Joe's, Michelle's. Denny's, no, you're not Michelle's. You're not Michelle's. Michelle, Michelle thinks you're wonderful. Right? No, Michelle thinks he's wonderful. Becky can do no wrong. Ah. <sighs> I'm adorable. Oh, look at that team. What do you think? Uh oh. Michelle just looked nice. Michelle just. That was Michelle. Ouch. Crack a new one. That looks nice. Thanks, Michelle. Very nice. That's beautiful. It is indeed. I love the little ripples down the left hand side of it there. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to put uh, oh. Amsha Sheen on the inside because that is food safe. Where's the other one's it's not? Is it? Woodwise 22 not? It's toy safe, That's but it. not food safe. It's, well, not that I'm worried. I shan't be eating that. Somebody else might want it. You know, It'd be like a whole dinner for me if I have it out of there. Right? More than that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need a bowl of about 10 that, that size for my breakfast. You just see that filled with uh, mince and tatties. Nom, nom, nom. Right. Let's rub a bit of this on. Big feet of mince and thighs. Woodwork learned says he wants to know how I escaped from Joe with my life. I told you, I'm adorable. Oh, and, Joe, Joe, we, and Joe is just, Joe is just really a big softie. The, the, the we kept the barrier doesn't. between her and him to make sure. I did the puppy dog eyes and bought her lots of drink. And vol volunteered to make coffee and the legs. Yeah. He's basically it's just a crawler. That's what, yeah. Well, that, I was, yeah, I was just trying to think of the apt name, but that's probably about right. You know. <laughs> probably about right. There we go. Polish this, are we? Christod says that's very nice, Terry. Thank you. And then he, his next comment says, so does that mean you can play with your food? Yeah, if you want to play with your food, help yourself, Chris. Work away. I'm not your mum or your dad. <laughs> play with your food if you want. In fact, you can even throw it about if you like. Ooh, shiny. Oh, Trevor, the Tommy Tunnel. We've got a new name for Terry. TT. <laughs> hit, hit me with it. Tiny Terry. Tiny <laughs> Terry. <laughs> it's not T uh, T J turning anymore. It's T T turning. Tiny, Tiny turning with Terry. Tiny turning with Terry on Thursday. There you go. You're back on a Thursday again, Terry. <laughs> oh well, I'm not too bad, is it? Yeah, looks gorgeous. 
I'll call that uh, beautiful. That finished. That's a lovely bit of grain, especially through there as well. The yep. hardware there, that's like, gorgeous. Yep. Andy that's has gorgeous. said that is a lovely colour to that bowl. Thank you, Andy. It is indeed. This is what Glenn's is going to look like when he finishes it. It is. Um, and hopefully that's going to be fully switched too. Gonna, it's yeah. going to be auctioned off. Yeah. For uh, for for charity, which I can't just off the top of my head, I can't remember what he said. Macmillan. Macmillan, that's it. Macmillan, your charity, oh. yeah. So that's going to be auctioned off. So start saving here. your pennies, guys, because that's going to be a stunning on big bowl. David J. Heath has said that's very nice. Thank you. And Michelle Higgins has said gorgeous, Terry. Right. It is a super looking bowl. Just got to take the tenant off this night. And we're fine. Rob from Copper House says that is beautiful, Terry. Thank you, Rob. I tries me best, me bed. I tries me best. It's all down to the wood, really. I looked away for one second and and I looked back and that bow was flat. I thought, what well, happened there? <laughs> <laughs> He's flattened it off already. <laughs> How did you do that? Ah, that's what you call magic. Now, word of advice, Terry. Word of advice. This next stage. Word of advice. Uh -oh. Don't get thrown by people giving you ideas to do it a different way than the way you've done it a hundred times. Is this, is this, is this, are you speaking from experience here, Mark? Yes. Don't <laughs> use a different do that, Mark. center from what you would normally do. Don't, <laughs> don't do it at a different speed. Don't use a different Absolute. gouge. Got to put don't my center back in a minute. Your head. No. <laughs> now, where's <laughs> my center gone? I'll put it somewhere. Uh. I think it's covered in shavings in the back there, is it? Yes, it is. Ooh. Buried. Ooh. Buried. Thanks, Ruth. She on now? Ruth, Ruth has said, uh, not a bad job, but I'm looking forward to Brian, Brian turning his bowl. She said, you might not get in there. <laughs> you might not get in there, woman. Yeah, nice one, Ruth. There be trouble. Just putting the centre back in with the right centre cone on it, so... There may be trouble ahead. There we are. But while there's music and moonlight and love and romance. Apparently, I can't sing either, Brian. Oh, God. Take that, Terry. Just for your cheek. You have the trouble lining up that little hole there, Terry. Oh, it's heavy. The bowl's heavy. Oh. Yeah. I'll get Ruth to come out and give you a hand with it, will I? Yeah, right. Now then, can I get in there with that, or do I have to move the tail stock? Mm, just about. Actually, I will move the tail stock a bit. Yeah, the, the banjo is rather substantial, isn't it? It is. Sometimes I think it's a little bit too substantial. Oh, yeah. no. It, well, it is yeah, until you yeah. yeah, turns yeah, really strong. Yeah, exactly. You know. Unless you put a great big piece of wood on it, and then you need yeah. it. Glenn the Wood Dancer says, beautiful piece of wood. If you go a little deeper, it would be a gorgeous sink. It would, actually, Clint. I thought that. Andy, Andy, I... I I'm, I'm appalled by that comment. Appalled. I'm not. I think he's spot on. <gasps> what do you say? <gasps> Come back, Joe, instead of Brian. Oh. <laughs> right, spindolic of the gouges. Yeah, I, exactly my sentiments, uh, Glenn. Exactly. Glenn says that Andy's a creep. Yeah. Well, we know that, don't we?
but it's hard. Spin the goods probably needs a sharp one. Keep saying that, and then don't sharp it. It's like you have to walk a hundred miles to the edge of the river and sharpen it on a stone. Not that you haven't got the Axminster sharpening system sitting across the Ultimate, room. ultimate sharpening system. Oh, sorry, the ultimate sharpening system. Yeah, Axminster ultimate edge. Yeah, it's just the Axminster edge, basically. Ultimate's a superlative word. Yeah. Well, no, because the Axminster, the other one, is uh, single speed. They do two versions. <gasps> single speed, and they do a huh. variable too. speed. You could give that to Steve, could you? No, no, that don't work. I'm not going to work on his lathe. Uh, thanks, Jennifer. Somebody appreciates me. <laughs> oh, dear. She's off her head on Bailey's, though, so what does she know? <laughs> Not, not at two o'clock in the afternoon, she's not. She, God, she, she, is. she is. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> Mark's winding her up. I would say so. No, Mark? No, never. When would that ever happen? <sighs> Glenn says, the Axminster Ultimate Edge, Chinese copy of a proper sharpener. Mark it in. Very good, Glenn. I like it. Oh, I'm getting Probably. budget packets from Jennifer now. <laughs> oh, got a bit of on that, so I'm going to drop it down a bit. See if I can. Budget packet. <laughs> don't know what speed I can get out of this. Now you're, final on, for now you're on Jennifer's list. Oh my God. Have you, Jennifer? Yeah, too late. Bull gouge. Some of that bull too gouge there. Too little. Too late. How thick was the bottom, Terry? No, well, you know, really. So I've got a bit of tear out. I'm trying to get rid of the tear out on it. Oh, okay. About half inch, wasn't it? Yeah, about half yeah, inch. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually. One, one more cut will be fine. 10 or 12 mil, that'd be fine. I actually That'll do need to out. make a bowl because I've only got the 20 left now. That'll sand out. 20 left. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to now turn the speed down. How's it go, Mark? Right. Turn the speed down to about 500. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, not 800 then. No. Uh, slightly less than 800. Yeah. 250. 50, 300. Oh, Push in towards the bevel right yeah. in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, I'll just ease a bit more out first. That's what Mark said. <coughs> right oh, on the gouge, left hand on the stop button. Yeah. Why is that fun? I wonder why it was cold. Get off fun. As soon as the nubbin stops turning, press the red button. Lose the ball. <laughs> oh, I didn't right. do it again. Dropped on me rubber mat, though. It broke before it finished. But it's all right. It's done. <laughs> Move chisels. Oh, goodness Move man. I, better, I better make a better job of that this evening. That's two yeah, of us dropped it. There's two in a row now. Just a little nub there to chisel off. Chisel? Uh, chisel? Yeah, some of us use hand, you know, proper chisels. Oh, I just use your skew, no, like everybody else. No, some of us use proper sharpened chisels. Overhead, that's the one. Um, it fell off. It fell off. Shall just come in and see what was happening? So I told her it fell off. Nearly there. 
Do you want to do you, it to tear you, out at all? Did you make that mallet, Terry? I did. Get your fingers away from the front of that chisel. That's right, mate. I'm used to this. Oh. Spent 16 years of the business oh, doing this. Oh, I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. Oh. Is he finished yet? He's finished. Yeah. He's finished. And he put the chisel down on the bedways as well. Good oh. night, Terry. Good <laughs> <laughs> just do that and see if Margaret oh. notice. It's like a knife through my heart there. <laughs> knife through his heart. <laughs> he says that's what his ears are for. That's shocking. 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 I know, Cliff. I've seen the edge on a few of your skews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. A little bit long today, people, because. Only because. It's the camera broke. Compared to me, and the camera broke as well, and I had to get technical advice from the staff. Change the camera then. There you, go. There he goes, like. Pretty big bowl. <laughs> that, is pretty, that is very pretty. Thank you. There it is. That's okay, Jennifer. Fear not. I'll sand the bottom off in a minute. That is very, very nice, Terry, I have to say. There we are. Let me see the Thank outside you. shape. Hold it up. Let me see the outside shape. Sorry. There you go. That's a nice right. shape. That's a proper bowl shape bowl. Proper bowl, proper, yep. proper bowl, that is. That is uh, finished size for all those who are still here and interested. It's exactly 10 inches by four and three quarters. Very nice, Terry. That's so that's not bad. Out of a 10, 10 and a quarter bowl, or 10 and, 10 and a half bowl it was when it started. Rough, or rough turn. No 10 inches. Very good. Excellent. There we are. Good job. So, let's uh, find out where they are. There they are. Click. Bring in my veritable earworms. Thank them ever so much for uh, helping me out today. Oh, Giving me all the usual advice. I'm going to put that down somewhere. Put it down there. Yeah. Thank you for the singing, Mark. Well, that wasn't that good. Yeah. No I won't thank Brian for all those here. He comes. No, 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 no. If anybody's Chris, still yes, watching, they're probably they're all probably gone now. Probably signed off now. Brian is on tonight, of course. He may or may not be wearing that stupid down the calls out tonight. What can I say? What can I say? Look. <laughs> so, a little bit long, but there we are. <laughs> One of those things. The bow was too big to uh, turn quickly. I've had been three yep. inches. Been finished a long time before that, but. I wanted to do it finished properly because I wanted Good. to show Glyn what his bow is going to look like when he's finished this or when we finish it. But, you know. Yep. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> there, that, that's probably it. Now, it's just Sunday wear. So, I've, I've just sun, been tinseled. Saturday Yay! evening wear, that is. Yay! Tinsel. Thank you, Mark, <laughs> for your efforts today and tolerating Brian. And thank you, everybody, for coming in. Look forward to seeing you. <laughs> Do I get danger money this next time? time? The next time. <laughs> may you see you tonight on Brian's, but I may I may just butt out of that. I don't know. Yeah, if you can mm. Brian will you be turning the bowl tonight. You please yourself. Oh, oh, what's the name bowl on you, Brian? Uh, well, I'm a thinking burr. about a burr. A burr. Just Elm a bowl, burr. Yeah. Yep. I hope you like what I've turned, people. If not, well, there we are. I'll go with it. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye, Ron. Bye, everybody. <laughs>